Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Tuesday evening devotions. Uh, if you're doing something, you're washing the dishes, I hope that this message and this uh, video will bring encouragement to everyone as we, as we hear and listen to the Word of God this evening. So let's pray. Lord, thank you for giving us this evening, Lord, this, this day of the week, Lord God, we're in Mondays. Uh, we've, we, we've gone through Monday, Lord, Tuesday na po, and Bukas po, uh, midweek na po kami, Lord. Thank you for the grace, Lord. And to those of us who are going to expect, Lord, greater things, Lord, we're in faith, Lord, that the next few days will be greater because we are serving a powerful and almighty God. We give you praise, Lord, as we worship you this evening. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's worship the Lord. From the beginning, you have proven true Moving over the wall Creating something new Just by your breath You have opened eyes And all of creation Filled by you With every promise You call to mind That we are your children Love by you, I won't be afraid, but you lead me through uncharted territory is covered by you. Lord, thank you for your presence that is in our midst, Lord. Thank you, God, that every time we seek you, Lord, you may be found. As we seek you with all of our hearts, thank you that you hear us. You hear everyone, Lord God, who calls upon your name. We praise your name for you are good, Lord. Your goodness, Lord God, endures forever. Thank you, God. We bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let me share with us Psalm 34, verse 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. 
Blessed is the man who takes refuge in Him. You know, we can see the goodness of God even in the creation, no? No, in the midst of uh, uh, day one up to day six, okay, when He created all the things that we can see right now. No? Kita po natin yan. Everything, every after His creation, on a specific day, He will always say, it is good. Amen? It is good. And then only during the time where He created man, that He said, He said, it is not good. That's why, di ba? He brought, He created woman and brought it to the man. Kasi nga, it's not good for the man to be alone. So in that context, we can see that Adam needs a woman. Okay? Because God saw probably that Adam is lonely and no suitable, su- no suitable uh, uh, helper fit for Adam, is fit for Adam. That's why He, he created a uh, woman, okay? Eve, the woman for Adam. So, you know, if you are going through some situation today and you're questioning the goodness of the Lord, you know, we can learn from the principle of the story of Adam and Eve that God brought forth the woman, okay? For him to experience more the goodness of the Lord. Kasi sabi nga ni Lord, hindi, ba, hindi pwedeng nag-iisa lang to. Parang anlungkot-lungkot niya, no? So, probably you're not yet connected to our victory groups or you're not connected to our church probably because of some offense. You know what? God said, taste and see that the Lord is good. Now, His goodness is not depending on the, the people around us or on the, on the situation that we're in. You know, His goodness is based on His attributes that regardless of what we are going through, okay, we can still say that at the end of it all, God is good. Actually, think of it, sa mga ginagawa po natin, no, kahit na po ang hirap ng buhay, we can still uh, do good things okay, to our family members, even if we know that uh, life is tough, like pandemic, okay, taas ng gasolina. Okay, probably some of us, we got demoted or we lost our job or probably you're going through some personal sickness or health issues. It's not based on on our situation. That's why we can say God is good. It's because of His goodness that endures throughout all eternity. And the things that we do, the, thing, the good things that we do, okay, actually, it comes from the Lord. Kasi po sabi sa Psalm 16 verse 2, I say to the Lord, You are my Lord. I have no good apart from You. Everything that we do is a reflection of the goodness of God. Because apart from the Lord, we are nothing. There's no good thing. Kasi po, we are sinful. Okay? We only think of ourselves. We are sinful by nature. Why do we think that there's war? Because there are people who think first of themselves. Okay? I'm not generalizing, okay? But many people think first of themselves, of their comfort, of their personal uh, benefit. That's why it's at the expense of others. Okay? That's why today, we can say that God is good because we know that uh, it's His goodness, it's His attribute that makes us do good things in life. In Psalm 70, 73 verse 1, Truly God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. We can never be pure in heart. Okay? The Israelites, we all know the story. They're not pure. Okay? Many of them fell Okay, in sinful and in idolatry and disobedience to God. And yet, the psalmists say, God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. Because God made the covenant to, to the Israelites for the sake of David and for the sake of those people whom He made covenant with, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. That's why He is good. That's why brothers and sisters today, we can say that God is good no matter what. No matter how difficult life may be, no matter how seemingly our hearts are impure in His eyes, because of our Lord Jesus Christ, we can say that God is good and is doing good things in our midst, even if we don't see it yet. Okay? Because God sees us not as impure people, but as pure in heart. As we end, no? Romans chapter 8, this is the finished work. It talks about uh, the Holy Spirit and at the same time, the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. And in verse 28 of Romans chapter 8, And we know that for those who love God, 
all things work together for good for those who are called according to His purpose. Do you love God? I hope so. And my prayer is that we will continue to love God even more. And we all know that even though we are yet to see His goodness, we are yet to experience the pleasures that He has in store for Him, the, the breakthroughs, the answered prayers that He has for us. We can say that He is good because He is good because His goodness is not based on how we feel, on our experience. His goodness is that if what we're experiencing right now, at the end of this, we can say, Lord, you're good. Thank you, Lord. Meron po akong dinaanan na ganitong klaseng problema. Thank you, Lord. Meron po akong dinaanan na ganitong challenges. Because if not for all of these, we can never understand more of your goodness. That's why if you are right smack in the middle of a trial, of a situation that you seem like questioning the, the goodness of the Lord, let me encourage us today. God is good, high time and low time. His goodness will outlast not only our lifetime, but even the eternity. Because God is God. Amen? He is glorified in our midst at the end of the day regardless kung ano po yung pinagdadaanan natin ngayon. Kaya po mga kapatid, if you're doing sacrificial goodness for your loved ones, for those people, feeling mo, nagawa mo na lahat, you've ex- you're exhausted and you feel like, Lord, kail- good ka ba talaga? Parang lahat nagbigay ko na eh. Okay, parang Lord, talaga bang naaalala mo pa ako? Guess what? God knows. He is omniscient and He is good. Amen? Let me pray for all of us. Lord, thank you for, for your attribute that sums up, Lord God, most of your character, Lord, and it's your goodness. Lord, you are all-powerful and yet you are, you are gentle. You are meek, O God. That's why we can say you are good. Lord, we deserve wrath. We deserve, Lord God, the punishment of the consequences of our sins. And yet you withhold because you are good. And for the sake of your love and your goodness for, for those uh, you love, Lord God, you sent forth your Son, Jesus Christ, so that, Lord, we can be pure in hearts and we can say, you are good. And we can taste and experience, Lord God, your goodness, Lord God, in the land of the living. Lord, we pray, Lord, for everyone. Lord, sa mga gumagawa pa po ng household chores, Lord, do sa mga lumalaban sa buhay, Lord God, even though they are tired, they're fighting for their loved ones, for their families, Lord God, bringing food on the table, Panginoon. I pray, Lord, that, Lord, illuminate your goodness to them. Reveal your goodness, Lord God, who you are in their lives, Lord God, in that particular situation. Lord, we commit to you, everyone, to those of us who are feeling exhausted. Nakaka-service mo lang na Sunday, pero parang feeling mo pagod ka pa din. You know, God is willing to refresh you and show up His goodness to you. Why don't we just talk to God in our own words and tell Him about the things that we're having a hard time seeing His good things, His, good, His goodness. Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters, that they will have the faith, the audacious faith to say that you are good no matter what. Things may not be uh, clear for some of us, but Lord, today we choose to see, Lord, your goodness, your goodness, Lord God, that endures forever. We thank you, Lord. We commit to you, everyone, O God, as we go through our week. Lord, may we taste and experience your goodness. We praise you, God. We honor you, Lord. And Lord, we commit to you this time of the day to worship you and be refreshed by your Spirit. We honor you, God. Let's worship God before we end.
Thank you for touching our hearts this evening. Thank you, Lord God. We can look back and check this video again, our Tuesday evening devotion, Lord God, so we can be encouraged and be refreshed. Lord, may this bring, Lord God, transformation, Lord God, in every area of our lives as we see your goodness. We bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless everyone. We'll see you in our worship services. Have a victorious week in Christ.